a German lady lives in Baghdad since over uh, seven years. What's your story? How I came to Baghdad, maybe? Okay. Okay. In 2010, I was working in the theater house in Berlin and was responsible for international theater projects. And we were invited to a theater festival in Baghdad. It was November 2010. And when the plane landed, and I go out of the plane, put my foot on Baghdad's ground, I felt hope. And this is the start of the, let's say, of a love story, but not with a person, with the city of, I call it, Lady of Baghdad. And um, it was also not only the, big, um, the start, also when I, I spent here one week maybe, and the situation in 2010 was um, very bad. There were a lot of checkpoints, T walls. Uh, the buildings were covered, a lot of US troops and soldiers, and, and, and but it was, I, I didn't see all of this, I only saw the nice architecture, the palm trees, and I could breathe the, the history, <coughs> the very old history. Did you read about this. it before you, ca you came? I to mean, Bangladesh? it's part of our education, school education, of course. Oh, <laughs> yeah. In Germany? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, but I know that you was in Egypt before Baghdad for the same project, <coughs> and then you came to Baghdad. Yeah, and I am. I'm, um, when I was here the first time, I decided, so this is my hometown, mm. I want to come back. But I mean, to go to Baghdad is not a trip to Paris. Mm. So I had to prepare myself, so I um, got um, a freelancer, and I spent one and a half years in Egypt, and um, it was Mm -hmm. from Berlin to Cairo and from Cairo to Baghdad. So I used Cairo to come from time to time to, to Baghdad to discover the country because I didn't know anything mm -hmm. about Baghdad, about the people, about the culture, how I can move and, and, and so it was checking, checking, checking how I can move, with whom I can move, mm -hmm. how, what is the behavior of the, the people, how I have to mm -hmm. behave. So and then since beginning of 2013, so I, I stay here. Mm. Too many uh, Arab people, or Iraqi people especially, they travel to Germany and maybe die in the sea just to reach Germany and reach a safe area. And you now uh, planning to stay in Iraq and in Baghdad. What was your family and friends' reaction for this decision when you told them that I will move to Iraq? Um. First, they didn't um, think that I really want to stay. They was ah, it's a dream of our yeah, it's a dream and it's temporarily. She will walk there, okay, for two years, for three years. So they accepted, but my mom always say, one day you are sitting back on my sofa, <laughs> <laughs> and she still thinks <laughs> this. But meanwhile, I uh, face a lot of problems. The same, like um, young Iraqi people tell me from the fights with the families. Mm. So I have the same, even I'm much older and I'm not in my 20s <laughs> well, <not> anymore. Much. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, still, so I face the same problems. So I all, every time when if I'm in Berlin, if I'm fighting with my family. Mm. They don't want me to go back because they are scared. But it's my decision. <laughs> I can't stay without Baghdad if I go leave Baghdad only for one hour. Oh. I feel so homesick. <laughs> homesick for Baghdad, mm. not Germany. Mm -mm. Wow. Only Baghdad. And talking about challenges, uh, what's the biggest challenge that you faced when you moved to Baghdad? Like if we're talking about language, food, uh, social traditions, what's the biggest and the main challenge that you're facing now? I have no problem with a language even I don't speak Arabic mm. I have no problem I love the Iraqi food I love Iraqi people with the social behaviors of course I have difficulties but still I as a foreigner I ha can enjoy my freedom mm. so it's I'm not really involved in it mm. but the main challenge is um, the Iraqi bureaucracy the public services um, uh, it's horrible I'm sorry it's it okay. Is. Iraq, it's, it's, for instance, more difficult to get a visa for Iraq than mm. for an Iraqi to get a visa for Germany, believe me. And then also, um, Takib, 
the independent artist group I belong to. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried since uh, almost two years to um, register Takib as an NGO. Impossible. Because they make, there is an existing law, mm -hmm. but there are people who want to undergo the law. Mm. And you don't? Which is, no. Even it's the only way? Yes. No, no it's a law, you have to follow the law. Mm. Great. So, talking about Tarkib, Tarkib is, a, mm. as you say, an NGO, non-government NGO, right? No, it's an independent artist Independent group. artist, yeah, okay. We try to get mm -hmm. the status of an NGO. Okay. Um, who came with the idea? I mean, it was a process of development. No? <coughs> <coughs> In 2000, end of 2014, a young artist, uh, Raat Mutter, he asked me, Hella, what is if we make an installation exhibition? And I very much liked the idea. Then he um, connected me with more artists and we made all together the mm -hmm. first um, Takib installation exhibition in 2015. It was one week more festival than an exhibition, but from the very beginning it was a teamwork. So nine artists were exhibited and then after the exhibition uh, we decided to continue as an artist, independent artist group and we even made uh, the next festival. So every year until now we have every year in April the festival. Most of them are young, of course. Takib has a focus on um, young... Young artists. Young artists, yeah, but the people who are involved in Takib ah. and also young audience. Mm. So our audience is young. Yes. I, I went to uh, many events of Tarkib in the past few years mm -hmm. and I see something very beautiful that too many ages, uh, there is two genders uh, of the, your audience, so you have a really big audience uh, yeah. base, so how you, how you make this? I would love to give you the answer, I don't know, <laughs> but from the very first beginning, so even the ex exhibition in 2015, I was very proud that uh, Forty percent of our audience are women, young women, yeah. and this is something impossible normally mm -hmm. um, in Iraq or wherever. But it was constantly like this, and um, I mean, over the years, it's maybe also because um, um, we not only stay on one mm. place, we go around, we go to public spaces, so mm. people get more familiar with the work we are doing so then they say okay it might be interesting to join mm -hmm. then um, the young people not only the artists also the audience they have parents they have mm -hmm. families who want to see where the kids are going mm -hmm. so they join and um, even I mean the um, even we have audience from the lower class the working class which is ah, I'm very mm -hmm. proud of it but Maybe it's really because we go out to the street, perform, and we talk with the people. If, or if we only go shopping, so in Rashid or wherever, in Georgia, we talk with the people, we listen to the problems, the opinions, mm. so it's always a conversation. Then we invite them. Some of them who work in Rashid in the shops are our neighbors, so okay, mm. they come and see what we are doing. Um, living in Baghdad, um everyone around you is actually an Iraqis. So you have any German friends or European friends that you have contact with? No. No one? No. <laughs> so you're like <laughs> isolated. In so no, it's not isolated. I don't need it. Mm. When I was in Cairo, I mean, I go, don't go to another country to meet Germans. Mm. I go to an another country to be within the people mm. who live in the country. Otherwise, I will not learn anything about the country if I stay in my, in my community, mm. so it's not even when I was in Cairo, there is a bigger community, German community, than in Baghdad. But I, I was always with the Egyptian artist mm. scene, not with uh, the Germans. What's and it's difficult for me to deal with Germans, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the German people, if they watch you, they will not like you saying that. <laughs> so what the biggest thing that you like in Baghdad? Architecture. Mm. The architecture. I love the architecture. Of you Baghdad. mean the old uh, architecture? Mm, yeah, and the modern architecture. Mm. So um, the city 
Baghdad, the city of Baghdad was mainly built, the main part was built in the 15th, beginning of 60s. You see a lot of art. As it started under, king and under the king and continued even with under Abdul Karim Qasim, mm. so that not only architects, also artists built the city. So they built, uh, they designed the houses. Mm. Even you have this Abbasidan shape almost everywhere in the houses from Khadarchi, and each square has a sculpture. Mm. And this right. is uh, art in public spaces, this mm. was something, oh, <laughs> most of the Iraqis, unfortunately, they don't see it, but if you tell them, look, mm. there's something nice. It. Yeah. And the government have to like keep this, uh, this uh, places and focus Which on the uh, Our government. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Hella, uh, I'm so happy for meeting you. Thank you so much, Hella, and uh, thank you for coming to my show. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. <laughs>